What's up guys? Uh, got something I wanted to show you today. Uh, of course, I'm sure you are. can already tell it's a Pelican case. Uh, Pelican 1400. Uh, they're pretty much indestructible. Made in the USA, which is awesome. Uh, they have really strong clasps. Uh, really nice uh, handles is rubberized down here. They have a Gore-Tex vent, uh, so if you're flying it equalizes the pressure and everything. That's right there. They're pretty much indestructible. I mean, they're they're waterproof, dustproof, uh, pressure proof. I really don't know how you say that. They're not susceptible to pressure changes. Uh, they come in neat colors like this tan, and you can lock them. They have little spots for locks. Uh, this one came with pluck and, pluck and fill, something like that. Pluck and something foam. Uh, so I figured I would use it as a knife case. Uh, there's been many times where I've been wanting to transport my knives like from where I live to my hometown. And I have like 30 knives that I just have no place for. And uh, it's kind of a bitch to pack them all up and get them where they're not banging against each other and really just keeping them all in one spot and consolidated it's kind of hard to do so I figured I'd get this case and give it a try and so far I really like it uh, it's really easy to pluck the foam out and stick your knives in it uh, it'll fit anything from uh, a pair of two which is the carbon fiber one all the way up to an SMF or uh, or even a ZT301. Uh, this is just a tad bit too small to fit knives like uh, like the Tilt and the Military. Uh, they won't fit vertical like this, but you could always uh, stick them in there, pluck out a line, and then stick them in there like that, which is no problem. I really just did it this way to maximize uh, usable space. Pretty much you could do it really any way you want but I just wanted to maximize the space uh, you can get extra foam for these like you don't have to use this as a knife case I just have this set up for knives right now but uh, you could just buy different blocks of foam and if you're not transporting your knives then you could uh, pluck that piece of foam out to fit your camera or anything like that really pretty much anything you want to keep safe uh, pistols uh, external hard drives, pretty much anything. This is perfect for it. Uh, like I said, the foam is really easy to pluck. It only takes like two cubes to pluck out. Of course, it goes all the way down, but just two of the cubes and you can fit a large Sabenza in there. So, I mean, it's really, really good for carrying knives. When it's closed, uh, this egg crate foam up here is uh, putting pressure on the top so they don't move at all. I mean, there is literally zero movement of the knives uh, while it's closed. And really, while it's open, they won't move. I can actually uh, turn this thing upside down, and uh, the knives won't even budge. So the foam really holds them in there really well. So uh, in case any of you are interested, I have a Kershaw TG1 in here, which is a really cool knife. Uh, it's the production version of the the Tim Galleon Turbulence, I think. Anyway, cool knife. Speed assisted. Of course, I have the carbon fiber pair too. Uh, showed you the SMF. I have a ZT551 in here. Have a Gale Bradley. I already showed you the 301. And I have a camo version pair of two in here and then I already showed you the large micarta sabenza so I really like these uh, I did not come up with the idea for this uh, I watched a video from a guy named Matt Zhao or something like that geez I can't I can't remember it all I think I'll annotate his name in here but I originally saw it on his channel he had a pelican 1600 which is bigger than this it's a lot bigger than this actually and it will actually fit these bigger knives vertically and I think I'll get that eventually 
but for right now this is perfect for me uh, it'll fit probably around 30 knives in here comfortably and then over here you can fit little tools and uh, Swiss Army knives and everything like that so they're really good cases made in the USA so I don't feel bad about buying it and uh, it'll keep your knife safe for pretty much anything and it's just a really handy way to store it it's really inconspicuous so nobody knows that you could potentially have thousands of dollars worth of knives in here so uh, I really like it I figured you you guys may appreciate it so I just wanted to make a video of it and uh, show you guys what it's all about and just to show you that it does comfortably close with all this in here you can see how far that they stick up it's not a problem because it's just foam uh, see if I can get around the camera the foam is really really dense so it's hard to press it down but it's not really putting any undue pressure on your knife so you don't have to worry about it it's just hard to compress uh, that's good though because there's absolutely no wiggle so I really like it it's easy to clasp and definitely easy to unclasp and it's just a really really good case so wanted to show you guys uh, this thing and uh, see what you think about it I'll just go ahead and zoom in and show you show you how the knives fit in there as you can see it's just you pluck out little rectangles and they slide right in I don't know why this is riding up right here it's normally flush like the back is so I need to figure out why it's doing that but uh, anyway just wanted to show you guys and uh, see what you think uh, if I do any updates I'm gonna fill it out more of course I just did this for the purpose of the video but I'm gonna fill it up and when I do I'll probably make another video about it and if I get a bigger one I'll probably make a video about that too but if any of you guys want to see anything else about it just let me know and uh, I'll make another one thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time